So money, how do you get it? Well, if you're like me, you are in college right now and you don't have any time on your hands because you're like doing homework 24 seven. So you don't have time to get a consistent job because you don't know when all of a sudden the professor is going to drop an assignment on you and then the next thing you know, for the next week, you're like working, you know, 18 hours a day to get all your homework done. Especially if you're in like an engineering program or something crazy like that. So actually making money is really difficult and you find yourself just spending all of it not making anything and then you're broke all the time today i'm going to go over some um, things that i do to make money um, here in college that don't involve like an official job you could say um, but are still like pretty good decent uh, sources of income first thing i recommend is website testing i currently test websites for four different online um, companies. I believe technically two of them are kind of like intertwined because one of them like just bought the other one or whatever. But these are pretty nice. So the ones I do website testing on is I use user testing, IntelliZoom, uTest, and tester work. Now how most of these ones work is there so companies will put out something on like user testing or telezoom whatever you're doing your website testing through you will essentially go through them and kind of evaluate their websites or their apps or whatever they need you to like evaluate really quick and typically the pay is about ten dollars per task you complete it varies depending on the on which one um, like you're doing so for focusing just on user testing those ones it's uh, ten dollars typically for each one you do and they'll, they'll take usually anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes I usually and sometimes they take even less than that you're making roughly about like a dollar for every minute of time you're putting in on those things and the only catch with this is that you can't always get into them you have to go through screeners where you can actually review the websites or the apps which means you're going to get rejected a lot you're not going to be able to necessarily get a whole lot of things to test for that day like when you're very first starting off you're gonna have pretty much nothing it took me like a week of just getting rejected over and over and over again before I ever got my very first one I would probably fill out like 15 screeners every single day for like a week straight before I finally got my first one also as you complete more and you get higher like um, ratings on the stuff you do you will get more offered to you and it's easier to get accepted into them currently for myself I get anywhere from like 20 to about $30 a day um, doing this and I spend maybe like 40 minutes of my time working on it a day now moving on to IntelliZoom now IntelliZoom now part of user testing as you can see there in the top uh, left hand corner there they were just just recently acquired I believe by user testing or it was just officially made public that they are um, within the last um, I think like about three to four weeks and now on here these payouts aren't necessarily as high and it does have a few like a little bit it's a little buggy sometimes so these payouts will be in, is anywhere from five to eight dollars per one you do and it takes usually anywhere from the five dollar ones you should take about five minutes the eight dollar ones you should take about um, 12 to 15 minutes to do so this one like you don't necessarily get a bunch of things per day on it but the ones you do get you're able to get into more consistently so I, I'd say I probably spend maybe about 25 minutes a day on IntelliZoom and I usually make around $24 moving on to you test so you test what you can actually do through them is you can actually take training courses to get more familiar with how their whole like website works and testing and everything like that I am still actually in the middle of going through all of their training courses right now now I have not actually done any projects I'm not a hundred percent sure the payouts and stuff on these ones however my current project that I'm technically on right now is I have to read recordings and I get paid I believe it's 11 cents Per recording and then as I do them I get like put into like a raffle for a chance to win like a hundred dollars like every single time I get assigned to a new like recording project thing I don't really know how well this one's gonna pay assuming the recording is only taking maybe like a minute or so to do for each one then that wouldn't be too bad you know only getting paid like like you know like 10 cents for like a minute of your time and then it's like 10 minutes for a dollar so it's like you know six dollars an hour so that's like actually kind of bad the last one that I test websites on is a tester work. This one I started two weeks ago and I have only gotten one um, test cycle to complete. They call them test cycles on here. And it took me about, I believe, 10 minutes to complete this one, which isn't too bad. And I got paid $35 for it. And all these things you can do anytime you want. You can just log on whenever you have a 
free moment and check them out. So this next thing I want to talk to you guys about, this is what makes me like the bulk of the money that I make right now in college. It is called Remo Tasks. Now what Remo Task is, is it is an online organization and what they do is they pay you to like train an AI chatbot. By every week you'll get assigned a new project. It depends on like how you signed up. You can assign to work like under 20 hours a week, which is what I did. You can sign up to work like 20 to like 30 hours a week or it'll be like 30 plus, I believe are your options. And the more hours you work in a week, the longer your projects will last and the more consistent they'll be. I have a friend who did it and his projects would last him about like a month per one he was on. Whereas mine only lasting about a week before I get assigned to a new one. And you get paid anywhere from 12 to $15 an hour. And some projects will even be bonuses. So it's like, oh, you completed like 15 tasks. Here's like a $10 bonus now. Pretty nice. Now, technically it is not like a flat rate, 12 to $15 an hour. Like one of the ones I was working on, it's like, oh yeah, for each one of these things you submit, you get a dollar. But it would take you maybe like five minutes for like each one or something like that. But then some would maybe take less time. So then you technically you get like about a dollar for each one. So then it ends up averaging out to about twelve to fifteen dollars an hour. But it's not necessarily like a guaranteed you're gonna get that twelve to fifteen dollars an hour every time. Like if you're just sitting there idle, not working and stuff, you're not gonna get paid for your idle time not working. You have to be submitting stuff. But as long as you're consistently submitting stuff, you're gonna get paid. Um, for your work on that. I don't necessarily want to get into like how much money I've made from this one specifically. It is like, it's a pretty like substantial amount. Now, the only issue that I have run into with uh, Remo Task is that occasionally there's like, there's some bugs and stuff. Like there's some issues and things are gonna happen. And their customer service isn't necessarily always the greatest at getting back to people and stuff. It also has to do with like time zones and things. So you'll know, like I'll know sometimes I'll put a thing out in like Slack because that's what they use to like, communicate a lot of stuff right I'll have some issue I'll put something out there but then they don't respond to me for like two days and if you have an issue on like the weekend or something or like a, late on a Friday night well, after everyone leaves on Friday no one monitors a slack like channels or anything over the weekend or anything like that so you won't get a response until like Monday afternoon so if everyone leaves the office on Friday and you put something out there on slack you will not get a response until like middle like mid Monday so there's some like, you know, things like that. So hopefully you don't have any huge technical issues with it. So if any of you guys are interested in doing a Remo task or user testing or Telezoom or any of the things I mentioned in this video, there will be links in the description of this video. So make sure you go click on those and check those out. So that way you can start doing this as well. Now, in addition to doing all the website testing and stuff I do and the and Remo tasks, I do, I do other things as well to make money so however I'm not gonna get into like a whole lot of the nitty-gritty stuff and what's like how I do that stuff I will mention that in a later video but I also I have start recently started blogging and I technically don't make any money from that because I don't like run ads on it yet because I'm a big enough fan base but I'm currently um, getting to that point but I also have started my own drop shipping um, business you know getting like e-commerce stuff selling products and doing that stuff full length video about that and that whole process will be coming out soon. So like if you do this stuff consistently, I've noticed that like you can typically make anywhere from a like like 50 to like $100 every single day. Remo task is actually like kind of good. So I was on a project once where it was just like, I got bonuses for submitting so many things in a day. Plus I was getting paid by like, you know, all the submissions I was putting in. And then like one day I made like $200 and it took me like three and a half hours which is, that's, that's, that's pretty decent. Or I guess it was, it was probably closer to four hours by the time, like, you know, all the, going through the training courses and stuff too. Definitely a nice way just to make a little bit of like side cash, you know, maybe you wanna go out and hang out with your friends like one weekend or something, you get like gas and stuff you need to pay for because you're driving around and going places, you know? So it's just really nice for things like that. Also, for those of you out there, who are wondering maybe about taxes. So a lot of these things, you don't get like a W-2 form for these jobs. So technically, if you're in the United States, I don't know how this would work outside of the United States because I don't know how necessarily how taxes work in some other countries. I'm still learning that stuff. But you would need to then fill out, at the end of the year, you need to fill out a uh, 1099 um, tax form. So you need to be keeping track of all the money you're making, so, which means then that you need to be taking out a certain percentage of like your paycheck you can call it every time you get paid and that way you have enough to pay into your taxes 
at the end of the year. Right now, according to the IRS uh, website, that'd be about 15.3%. And there'll be a link to that in the description of this video if you want to go check that out. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be trying to answer all of them. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you want to know how to start your own dropshipping business and do that, then the next video will be for you. Welcome to the college life.